Welcome back in. Well, you guys already know what time it is. As you can see, we have some special guests joining us right here in the studio. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce you guys to the Vista Del Lago football team out of Folsom, who are here in the building and representing the Eagles. We're going to start off over here. We have captains Matt Long right there with the great hair. And uh, right next to him, Xavier Bryan is here. And now we're going to go to this side. Well, we'll start off with the other captain, Andrew Powers, right there. He has superpowers indeed. <laughs> and right next to him, head coach Kyle Landis. So thank you guys all so much for coming down here and spending your Sunday evening with us. Of course. Thank you for having us. Uh, thank you for having us. No sure. doubt. All right. Well, you know, I got to ask. Last year at around this time, I believe you guys started off the season at one and three. Right now, you guys are four and one. Can you just talk about what has changed, what's different this year from the team last year? Any one of you can take it. Yeah, I mean, we have a different mentality this year. We set a new culture, one love. I mean, we just went through it. We grinded this offseason. We knew we couldn't start the same way, so we just we did it since the summer. All right. He said you guys grinded throughout the summer and whatnot. Matt Xavier, can you guys attest to that? Oh, yeah. Since day one, we knew what the goal was this year, and we just had to attack it every single day. 100%. It's, it's been since January of 2023 okay. when advanced conditioning started, which is our fourth block class. It's our lifting class where we get the whole uh, football team together. It's, it's, it started ever since then, and we've been lifting, we've been grinding as a team all through the summer and all through the offseason. It's, it's been a great offseason for sure. Now, Coach, we were talking before we started recording. 5.45 a.m. is when you have these guys up and beating the heat, but clearly they're responding well. I mean, you dream of turnarounds like this with that start to where you're at now. Still a lot of season left. I know you're focusing one week at a time, but like maybe have these guys surprised you or impressed you at all with how well they've been able to figure things out? I think when we look at the end of last season and the playoff loss, we sat down and we tore it all down, and we knew we had the group that we were capable of doing that with. We had the right seniors at the mantle. We had a class of juniors coming in who wanted to be part of something big. And to be able to tear down an entire culture and rebuild it and find the pieces that are working and to fix it and find a culture that not only wants to exceed, uh, excel, but get better as they're excelling is a rare gift. So, I mean, it's this group. It's a testament to them. Uh, my coaching staff and I joke that the reality is we've been given the keys to a Ferrari. We're just trying not to wreck it at this point. Now, I know that you guys have played with each other for a long period of time. Some of you guys have played together since fourth grade, fifth grade middle school and whatnot. Uh, can you talk a little bit about how much of that connection and chemistry and friendship and just having that com camaraderie with one another translates to the success on the field? Yeah, of course. So it's not only the relationships we build on the field while we're grinding, it's off the field as well. I mean, me and AP and Xavier have known each other since, since day one. I mean, me and AP, I mean, we, ever since he moved here from Washington in fourth grade, we, we built that relationship not only on the field, but off the field. And those relationships off the field really do help on the field. So just getting that chemistry with the, with the boys. I've been playing with Xavier. I've known him since sixth grade. So we've had great relationships. But, yeah, it's relationships off the field that really make you excel on the field as well. I love it. Yeah. And, and I was going to say, you know, AP, he shouted you out a couple of times over there. I'm sh sure you weren't always this tall and big back then. Were you, were you the smaller guy? Oh, no doubt. He was always the tallest on the team. I was. He, he, he hit puberty early. <laughs> he, yeah. Yeah, he was, he was a big guy. You've been playing with your quarterback, Johnny, since you guys were in the second grade, is Second it? grade, yes, sir. Wow. And, and how has that relationship formed to where you guys, are, you know, he's always hitting you for passes yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, so actually, I think second through sixth or seventh grade, I was actually the quarterback, which is funny. It's kind of ironic, yeah. So I was the quarterback throwing him the ball. But in seventh grade, I had some shoulder issues. I got injured, and I actually moved to receiver. And I mean, it was it was a blessing. It was, really was a blessing. And he got moved to quarterback. I got moved to receiver, and it's been history ever since then. Coach, how much of an, of an advantage is it to have a team of guys that have played together for so long, and then in addition to that, have have captains like this who clearly exemplify that leadership role? I mean, when well, you have a group that's this tight and this group that truly likes to be around each other on the field, off the field, it makes everything easy. All those locker room issues, all those things, those culture pieces, those conversations about accountability and developing just become, I mean, five times easier with everything. Uh, as Andrew spoke to our offensive line, him and Brandon Nasworth have been together for a long time. Having those two seniors up there able to anchor things and communicate just kind of starts to breed the connection throughout the offense. And defensively, you have a group that wants to celebrate each other, that's never worried about I made the play, it's did we make the play together. So, I mean, to kind of get back to it, when you have a group this tight, everything becomes very easy very quickly. Now, I have to ask this question. You guys play in Folsom. There happens to be another team in Folsom. 
who seems to garner a lot of the publicity, and rightfully so, they're a darn good team. But do you guys ever feel like your younger brother to the Folsom Bulldogs, and do you feel that you guys have earned the same amount of respect as them on the gridiron? 100%. 100%. I mean, I never feel like a younger brother than them. I feel like through the hard work we've put in, like maybe we don't, we don't get all the publicity and all the media stuff that they do, but I think really what matters is the hard work, the responsibility, and how we're teaching as a culture how to be a responsible and respectful young man, and I just feel like that's the most important part, and I'm, I'm just so proud to be part of this program, for sure. Well, Kevin, one thing Vista Del Lago does have is a killer stadium and a killer home field advantage, too. I want to hear from the players here. You guys talk about, like, the student section, the volume, the sunsets oh. and sunrises from that yeah. stadium. I mean, it's, it, if you haven't been to experience a Vista Del Lago home game, you need to get out there just to see the vibes. It's amazing. I mean, the student section alone. I mean, we're ranked actually number one NorCal student section right now. It's just amazing to have that support from all of our friends, families. Just, it's always a packed house, no matter what. No matter the game, blowout or not. We're going to have the fans, no matter what, having fun, encouraging us. Yeah, I happened to cover the first week of the season. I was at Vista Del Lago covering the game, and I remember that student section was turned up. They were singing Miley Cyrus's Party in the USA. <laughs> <laughs> always. And so this it, is a classic this, at this point. Always. Always. Vista Del Lago. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, never, I'm always curious about the coaching perspective. Like, Are these some of like the best days of your life and best years of your life, just being around this, getting to experience football in this way? Like, What's the coach's perspective on the best years of these guys' lives? Uh, I, I'm a guy that when I hung it up, I knew I wanted to continue to be around the game, and I was very fortunate to have a great coach in John Ethburn when I was at Yuba City who had done a great job of, of being a mentor and being a role model, and I knew that was something I aspired to. And as much as, once again, I'd like to take the credit, this group makes that easy. This... This is a group that we talk about. We we have a good time with, you know, even pulling up to the parking lot today. It's like, here's these three knuckleheads who, <laughs> as much as I enjoy being around them, I know in, you know, what we got, seven, eight months when you guys graduate, that's hard because I've spent so much time with these guys. These guys are the ones that, you know, I'm calling the girlfriend on the way home. Like, you don't, you don't want to know what Zave did today. And <laughs> oh, it's just, it's the straight laughter. It's yeah. a group that truly, when my alarm goes off at 4.15 in the morning into the practice field, there's never a regret behind it. Um, I'm fortunate to be part of this group. I'm fortunate to have the staff around me that I do. And truthfully, as a guy who wanted to coach ball and coach ball in Sacramento, I think I've just been fortunate enough to find the right opportunity and the right guys to do this with. <laughs> I want to add, I'm curious, my Spanish has never been that good. Uh, what is the translation of Vista del Lago to English? Uh, view of the lake. So we have a really nice view from our parking lot and from our field. You can see Folsom Lake. So that is beautiful. the translation. Straight beautiful. Just another reason to come out to a home That's game and check them out. Hey, I'm telling you, the atmosphere, it's nuts. It's gorgeous. Bring a camera too while you're at it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Beautiful. Well, oh, of course. Like I said, it is beautiful. And it was beautiful for you guys to come on the show today. We really appreciate it. Keep up the success with what you're doing there. and. Uh, good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate, appreciate you, you having us. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. You. Absolutely.